today's topic as it related to matrices, we need to know what is determinant. So, first you need to know what are the notation we are going to do, going to use for determinant. Okay, determinant are used norm generally in the form of date. D determinant of A, where A is a matrix. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So for example, if I'm going to, this is another one notation, and there is another way of representing that is modulus kind of, that is called bar, or you can say modulus. That is also called, when you're going to read this one, we're going to read as determinant of A. So uh, now we are going to give, can you, I'm going to give you an example. Suppose an example is A equals matrix A, B, C, D. Okay. Now I'm going to find date of A or determinant of A will be modulus of the matrix, which is given like this. Now the formula is, we are going to multiply A times D, that is AD, minus, remember this one, minus B times C, so BC. So determinant of A, you are getting as a formula, if the matrix is 2 by 2 matrix, okay, so if the matrix is 2 by 2 square matrix, when you call them square matrix, when row and column are equal. Right? So, yeah. definition, let me write the definition also. Definition of square matrix is when row and row number and column number are equal. Okay, let's take an yeah. example. Let's take an example. How are you going to solve with if it is 2 by 2 matrix? Problem 1. Suppose I have 2, 0, 1, 5. This is my matrix A. I'm going to find the determinant of A. So I will write 2, 0, 1, 5. So as per a formula, cross multiplication of the value. So we are going to do 2 times 5, that is 10, minus 1 times 0, that is 0. So my answer will be 10. Okay. Now, second problem, I'm going to show with the number, if the values are negative, what will happen? Suppose there's an another matrix called A, having negative 1, 2, negative 5, and 3. So you're going to find the determinant of A. Determinant of A means determinant of minus 1, 2, minus 5, 3. So same formula will be applied. You can see the process. First is first value with 3. So it will be negative 3 minus 5 times 2. Negative 5 times 2. That means negative 10. So I'm getting minus 3 plus 10. That is 7. Yeah. Right? Okay, this is for 2 by 2 cross square matrix. Now, if we're going to do it with 3 by 3 square matrix, now we're going to take an example of 3 by 3 square matrix. Then what will have? Okay, so general form, I'm taking a value as A, B, C, Okay, uh, D, E, F, and I, J, and K. Okay, six values, three by three matrix. This is three by three matrix. So how are you going to do that? First is you have to place plus, second is minus, third is also plus. Now what is the meaning of that? How are you going to take? We are going to take the first value. Okay. 
So A. Now we are going to do it with a determinant. That means two by two matrix we are converting. A if we consider this row and this column, we have to omit it. Rest of the value we are going to put it over here. For example, first value I have taken A. So my remaining values are E, F, J, and K. Similarly, if I'm going to do the next value, that means B, right? If I'm going to take B, so I'm writing here itself, so in this case constraint. So if I'm going to take B, so now you can see that A values are not that way needed. Okay? Yeah. So now for B, same way I can this is the row number a b c and this is the column number right so if i omit like this because i consider b so what should i get now what are the remaining value remaining are d f i and k and the third value which one i'm going to take it as uh, next value that is c so plus minus plus minus plus it's a circle you know the it's a sequence plus minus plus like this is a sequentially it is going yeah, on it's similar yeah yeah now c is there if c is there so this is the column value this is the row value now what is the remaining value over here so remaining is d e i j so it has become my formula so I'm going to use the same operations of like multiplying this one. That means E K minus J F minus B D K minus I F. Okay. Plus yes. C times D J minus I E. So this is my, this is the matrix which I have got for this one. That means if I call, this is my matrix capital A. So my determinant of this A will be like this. Okay. So this is a little bigger, but uh, the process if you follow, there will be a less complications. So let's take an ex let's let let us take an example. If I'm going to take an example, suppose uh, problem three, I'm going to take continuation as well. Suppose I'm taking the value who is uh, three, zero, one, negative one, two, negative one. Uh, suppose zero, one, uh, suppose uh, two, uh, negative two also. Anyway. So this is an example. Uh, suppose this is my matrix A. So my first work, I am going to find it. What is the determinant of A? I am going to find the determinant. So first work we have to do, as per my formula, is first value. I'm going to keep it over here. So my first value is three, right? So my next matrix will be uh, two minus one, one, two. Value is next value is zero. 0. Determinant of so 0 means this one and this one is omitting. So what is remaining? Minus 1, minus 1, 0, 2, uh, and uh, plus 3, 0, and next one is 1. So 1 means this one and this one is already gone. So minus 1, 2, 0, 1. So I'm going to get now 3, 2 to the 4, minus, minus, plus 1, minus 0, minus 2, minus 0 times minus 1 is 0, plus 1, minus 1, minus 0. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now what I have to do 3 times 5, that is 15. 0 times anything is 0 and 1 times negative 1 which is coming negative 1. 
So my determinant is 40. Okay. So like this. So this is my this is my three by three square matrix, and I have shown example for a two by two square matrix. Okay. This is the formula for two by two, and this is the formula for uh, three by three. Okay. Like this four by four, five by four, all are possible. But the calculation you can understand three by three itself is giving getting bigger, right? Yeah. So four by four also will extend more. Uh, that is the constraints are there. So let's begin with uh, some examples that we're going to solve it. 